देवर्षि भूतात्व निनांग पितृनांग नायांग किंकर रिनीच राजन सर्वात्मनाद शरण शरण गतु मुकुंद परिहृत कत्व नाउ एज सुन एज ए लिविंग बींग इज बॉर्ड इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड ही हैज गॉट मेनी ऑब्लिगेशन ही हैज गॉट ऑब्लिगेशन to the different demi gods why obligation now because just like the sun is also one of the demi gods he is supplying you light so you have got some obligation don't you have any obligation if you have got obligation to the electric power house for supplying this light which are enjoying now have you got no obligation to the sun who is supplying so much profusely light yes you have got the vedic literature confirms it that you are indebted to the sun similarly you are indebted to the moon similarly you are indebted to air and so many things we are taking advantage of the supernatural power so we are actually indebted similarly we are indebted to the rishis great sages because they have left behind them all this vedic knowledge you are taking advantage just like this bhagavad gita or any scripture any book of knowledge so we are indebted deva rishi and bhuta bhuta means ordinary general living beings in our dealings suppose if i go to consult some lawyer i have to pay if i want to consult some medical practitioner i have to pay so this is obligation this is no mercy this is obligation similarly we are obliged in so many respects to the supernatural power to the sages to the ordinary living beings and to the animals also because we are drinking milk from the cows so we are indebted but instead of paying our indebtedness we are killing is it these are all reaction they are creating reaction if you don't pay bill for the electricity for many long time your electricity will be cut off your telephone will be cut off but we must be conscious of our indebtedness to so many things devarsi bhuta to ninang pitrina pitrina means the family in which you have taken your birth you are indebted to the four fathers therefore according to vedic rites in certain time you have to offer respect to your four fathers sad bhasari mani ah during the month of october there is a general sad bhasari mani in india so we are indebted to the four fathers devarsi bhuta tuminang pitrinang ha ah. so we are in so many ways ah indebted our obligation are that but सर्वात्मनाज शरण शरण गतु मुकुंद न सारिणी न किंकर दे भागवत से इफ समबडी फुल्ली सरेंडर अन टू द सुप्रीम मुकुंद मुकुंद मीन्स वन हू कैन ऑफर यू लिबरेशन फ्रॉम दिस मेटीरियल बॉन्डेज इज मुकुंद So if one surrenders 
fully and Krishna, Krishna is Mukunda, then he is no longer anymore indebted to all these obligations. He is immune. At one stroke he becomes liquidated from all obligations. And in the Bhagavad Gita you will find this statement confirmed in the last portion of Bhagavad Gita. The Lord says that Ahantang Sarvapabibha Mukhaishami. If you surrender unto me, Sarvadhanman Parikajya. Mahabekang Saranangala, the Lord says. That you have do you have not do, you have to do nothing. You simply surrender unto me. Sarvadharman Parikaj. You have got so many obligations, it is right. But it is impossible for you. Uh, of course, there are assistance how to liquidate your obligation. But especially in this age, oh, who is going to satisfy the demigods, who is going to satisfy the poor fathers, who is going to satisfy the so many obligations as ordinary living beings? Nobody is going. But if you don't satisfy your indebtedness, then there will be reaction. But if you surrender unto the Supreme Lord, you will be protected from all reactions. Therefore, it is very easy. Uh, by one installment, we become free from all obligations. The sarva dhanman parittajya maam ekaṁ saranaṁ gaja aṁkaṁ sarva pāpibha. Pāpibha, pāpibha means the reaction of sins. Now if I don't repay my indebtedness, to the persons to whom I am obliged, then I have become sinner. I am sinner. Just like I owe to you one hundred dollars or one thousand dollars, I don't pay you. So then I become a culprit in the uh, consideration of the state law. I have to pay you. Similarly, all indebtedness has to be liquidated. If you are unable to liquidate, then you will be a sinner. But you can save yourself from the reaction of all sins if you surrender unto the Supreme Law. Sarvatmanaja saranam saranam gato mukundam parihuttu kattum. You have got some duties. But if you give up all your duties, and simply surrender unto the Supreme Lord, then you are liquidated at once. Oh. This is the version of Bhagavad, and this is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita by the Supreme Personality of God at Sri Krishna that if you surrender unto me, giving up all your other obligations, then I shall give you all protection. Aṅtāṁ sarva-pāpibha mokhaśyāmi now, if I am protected from the reaction of my sinful acts, uh, but it does not mean that I shall surrender unto the Supreme Lord at the same time continue to uh, act sinfully. No, not that. Uh, or if I am obliged to continue, the God or the Supreme Lord will protect me. That is the first. Therefore, everyone should act jagga. Jagga means work to satisfy the Supreme Lord. That is called jagga. If we do not do that, then we shall be obliged. Otherwise, otherwise, when the act which is done uh, for the satisfaction of the Supreme Lord, that is immune from all reaction. But anything which is not done, for the satisfaction of the Supreme Law, that will oblige me in so many bondage of obligation, and I'll have to uh, repay that after many, many continuation of this repetition of birth and death. That is the secret of our life.